Okay guys, I've been requested to do my uh, top 10 favorite MAC blushes, so I'm going to record that for you guys now. Um, I've seen tons of these, and they're really helpful. Like, whenever I want to go purchase a blush, I want to see a swatch or, um, you know, just the way it looks, color payoff and things like that. I do refer back to other people's um, uh, top MAC blush uh, videos or just any kind of blush videos. Um, blushes are... Uh, I think my favorite makeup product ever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've gotten really addicted to blushes, so I do have a ton of them. But I'm just going to show you my top ten. And before I do that, um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing on my face for my face of the day. Um, for my eyes, first of all, it's just this little blue, um, smoky sort of look. Um, for my eyelid, I'm wearing this blue right here by Cupcake Cutie. And this one is in the 49 palette. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing this one all over the lid. And above that, I am wearing this neutral brown, sort of. It has a little bit of shimmer, but I blended that all out. And then in my crease, I just put like a black um, from this palette right here. And this one is the 098 palette. 09A palette. <laughs> and um, I just used this uh, matte black right here and then from a highlight I did want a little bit of shimmer in the look so I did put this one right here so that's what I'm just wearing for my face of the day my lipstick I'm wearing this lipstick by um, Talia and it's by NYX so that's what I'm wearing on my lips if you guys are um, wanting to know that and then um, my blush is actually one of the favorite blushes that I'm going to show you today so I'll share with that with you guys as well um, I did pick only 10 for you guys and um, I don't know how the swatches are going to turn out on these because I really never done videos where I sw swatch blushes and then my hand complexion is a little darker but anyways we'll get to it um, the f it's not in any order the first one I'm going to share with you guys is this one and it's called style style and I believe it's a frost yeah it's a frost finish and it just looks like this it's more like a peachy cor uh, coral um, blush and it does have gold glitters in it so um, I'll swatch it for you guys and that's what it looks like right there it's really pigmented but um, that's the swatch right there and I hope you guys can see that once again it's style and that's what that looks like that's the swatch for it and then I have this one, which is, it's been my favorite for a very, very long time. Um, I mainly use this in the winter, but it's called Sweetness. And this one is the Beauty Powder Blush. And it looks like this. It's just a true pink, just like a barbie barbie pink and i really really like that it's super pigmented and i normally use a light hand when i use this but that's what it looks like right there sweetness um and then i have this one right here it's called dirty plum and it is a matte finish and um the name basically describes it's a, it's a dirty deep plum. This one is super super pigmented, super pigmented, and I absolutely love it. So when when I use it, I have to actually use it with a light hand as well. So that's what that one is, and I absolutely love these. I love all of these. These are all my my favorites. So um, there's that one, and then I have this one right here. This one is in Desert Rose. This one is also a matte finish. Desert Rose. And this one is just like a rosy sort of just yeah, just like a rosy almost red sort of, but yeah, just a rosy color. And see that? And that's a good swatch for that one. It's a matte finish. Desert Rose. Yeah. And then I have one 
mineralized blush. This one is called Nuance. And I really, really like this blush. I really like it. it looks like this. Nuance. And this one is just like a peachy, it's just like a peachy blush with tons, tons of glitter. Tons of glitter. And it's really light since it isn't mineralized so you might not be able to tell the swatch on that but once again that's what it looks like and I have this one right here this one is the my paradise um, cheek powder by the Sir baby collection and um, I just absolutely think this is amazing I mean there's different ways you can use it you can just use the highlight the yeah um, what I use sometimes is I use the gold for the highlight um, sometimes I use it all together or sometimes I just use the, the uh, coral as a blush and that's it but it's it's super pretty I mean like swatch let me show you how it looks swatched together I don't know if you can tell but that's the swatch right there it's just amazing once again this is what it looks like um, these may still be available on the website I'm not sure so if you guys are still in search for this definitely check that out then I have this blush which I am wearing today so that's what I'm wearing on my face today and this one is called breezy this one I'm gonna have to say I reach for this one more than any other blush um, I just love the way it looks on my skin so that's why I'm like for my skin tone so that's why I am um, I, wear, I reach for this one a whole lot. But this one is definitely really good for um, women of color like myself. Um, dark complexion skin women. And this one is a sheer tone shimmer blush. It's just like a, just like a deep um, plum color. And that's what it looks like. This one is also super, super pigmented. And I just love this. I love... I love how it's shimmering and it's super pigmented that's what it looks like and all these MAC blushes are definitely buildable I mean you can build them up to you know if you want a deeper pigmentation on your cheek you know you want to wear the the um, heavy blush you can do that and you know use a stippling brush if you want to use um, it a little bit lighter so yeah um, and then this one this one is called Breath of Plum, and I like this one because I really, really like the plum um, cheeks. But this one is a little bit lighter, so if I don't want to use this one and I want to go a little bit lighter, I do want to use this one, Breath of Breath of Plum, and it is a sheer tone blush, and it's just a light plum color, just really pretty light plum. That's what that looks like. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell the swatch on that, but that's what the swatch looks like right there. Okay, then I have this one right here, which is another pink. And this one used to be my favorite. Fa I think it's my favorite uh, winter blush, the one that I use mostly in the winter. Um, but this one is called Coil Girl. It's a sheer tone blush. Coil Girl. And I come to realize it's, it's pretty popular. A lot of people really, really choose this one as their top fave. Um, but that's what it just looks like. It's like a light pink. Or like a, I don't know, just a really nice pink. And that's what that looks like. And I'll swatch it over here. It's just like a per perfect pink, I think. Just, you want pink cheeks? Go with the Coil Girl. This is the one that I would recommend for, 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 um, everyday pink look but I do use this more in the winter the last one I have is amazing too I use this a whole lot um, not as much as my breezy but I do use it a lot when I go for peachy coral looks I definitely go for this one first um, this one right here is called spring sheen and this one is a sheer tone shimmer and it's just like a peachy, peachy um, blush with the. Uh, it does have glitter reflexes in it as well. 
and I'll put that one over here. This one is really nice. That's what that looks like right there. So that one is spring sheen. And that's it for my top 10 blushes. If you guys want to share your top 10 MAC blushes, um, post it as a video response. If you guys already have one and I haven't seen it yet, please post it as a video response as well. I'd love to check out what you guys um, uh, have chosen for your top 10 or whatever. Um, I hope this is helpful for you guys in search of MAC blushes. And I hope um, this was helpful for the ones who requested it. That if, you, if you have any other requests for anything else, um, post that in the comments below or just PM me. It doesn't matter. I get requests from uh, both ways. Um, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, it's Friday. You guys have a fabulous weekend, y'all. Keep it safe, man. So um, that's it, I guess, y'all. Definitely stay out.